I read a lot of books um, recently. I read the book uh, on Elon Musk, World Transaction uh, in September. But this year, released this book on Elon Musk. And I read it. I thought, why don't I share my views on the books that I read with other people? I have uh, also read Walt Trisaction's other book on Steve Jobs. And I think Walt Trisaction is a great uh, author. And the writing style, I really like it. Writing style is balanced. And uh, he gives a full picture by quotes, uh, various incidences, and then uh, I think he gives a good picture of the person. So Elon Musk, Elon Musk is now the richest man in the world. And he happens to be, uh, I think, two years uh, younger than me. I consider him to be a great man. Uh, there are always controversies and uh, quirkiness uh, of the people, so, uh, or especially around people whom we call geniuses. Geniuses have a lot of quirkiness. And after reading this book, I really enjoyed it. His Walter Isaacson uh, starts from his very childhood. Mother, father, they getting married about their uh, families, and uh, Elon Musk. Uh, I was uh, really surprised uh, that uh, when Elon Musk was two, three years old, uh, he some I don't know misbehaved with his uh, mother or someone, and their parents decided that uh, they will not take him to the birthday party of his cousin. They left him in the home. And uh, he uh, then walked 10 miles and reached the uh, home of his cousin and joined the party. But really remarkable for such a small boy. Anyway, Elon Musk is a remarkable person. And uh, as a young man uh, in, uh, in his teens, he used to read a lot of books. And uh, he used to tinker a lot uh, in the dad's uh, engineering lab. And from there, he developed a knack for engineering. And by the age of 14, 15, uh, according to the book, he had mastered C programming language. It's really advanced. Uh, and uh, he did it. Uh, and what uh, uh, <laughs> uh, writes in his book uh, that uh, the teen is uh, wherever the parents would take him uh, on the uh, and attend functions or meet other families. So uh, he will just vanish and when they try to search him, uh, he will found the library of that house reading books. So he used to read books ferociously, science fiction, stuff like that, and uh, develop his uh, thinking ideas. And uh, that was, uh, that this is I want to tell to the young men and uh, women. Reading books will give you the vision and will give you the ideas that uh, will propel you in your life in the future. And when a person writes a book uh, like this for transition, he has done research for a few years. Good book, uh, you can't just write in a few weeks. You need to at least four, five, ten years. So always uh, read a good book with a lot of respect. Now, this is very important that I want to tell to uh, young men and women who are starting their lives. And this is uh, from uh, Elon Musk life. Uh, at the age of uh, 19, 20, he had uh, decided that he would leave uh, South Africa. South Africa and those days were becoming very violent and there was not much opportunity there. So uh, he couldn't uh, go to the United States directly because uh, he didn't have that green card, uh, just nationality. But his grandfather from his mother's side had uh, Canadian nationality. 
So he applied for the Canadian passport and that, uh, his uh, mother gave him $2,000, his father gave him $2,000. So they had only $4,000 when he left for uh, Canada. So the whole family came to the airport and uh, she bought. So he had it in Canada, uh, but he lost those $4,000. Uh, he was traveling on the bus, uh, I think, from Montreal to his uh, relative, uh, and the uh, bus stopped, uh, and he got down, but when he came back, the bus had left with his luggage, so it lost those things. So he started really from scratch, and this is very important for uh, other people to understand. Uh, his parents were not rich. But Elon Musk uh, started from uh, really nothing. Where, where is he? He is the richest man in the world. So you people should understand this thing, that uh, money is not everything, born rich in a, uh, not everything. If you are born in a wealthy family, you are just lucky. But with hard work, determination, you can make your life. And this is what Elon Musk has done. He enrolled in a, uh, his, uh, one, after one year, his mother and sister also came and they had not uh, much, much income. So they were living in one room. Uh, mother and sister used to sleep on the bed and uh, Elon would sleep on the floor. He enrolled in the can in one of candy in the industry, uh, I think, uh, uh, and uh, did his graduation. And after that, uh, he just... Uh, wanted to become an entrepreneur and went to the United States. His first project was Zip2. Uh, those were early days of internet. So he came up with this idea of uh, uh, providing a searchable uh, business uh, directory with maps. So uh, uh, he got funding from uh, Venture Capital Farm and after a few years, he did all the coding himself. And his mother also had, used to come and play with him. His brother and both of them worked hard and uh, they did, uh, Elon did all the coding himself. And uh, after a few, uh, two, three, four, five years, when that uh, company, uh, Zip2 was uh, bought by Ampac, so he got particular dollars as a share. From there he started, then he started this uh, uh, x.com, but uh, in those early days, there was no way to start and send money on the internet. So this idea of using email was very brilliant. And this uh, later on developed to PayPal. And uh, from there he also made uh, something like that, million dollars. And then he started developing interest in uh, rockets and started SpaceX from scratch. So they didn't know how to make a rocket, but then he, he is a great uh, mind. And he, as I said, uh, as a small child, he used to tinker in dad's engineering lab. So he had, according to my thinking, he developed a lab for engineering. And one thing I missed that uh, as a young boy of 13, uh, 12, 13 years so passed uh, his father to live with the computer. So in the beginning, his father uh, tried to just uh, 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 ignore it, but then uh, he kept on pestering again and again and again to bought the computer. So from very age, early age, he was uh, really uh, interested in computers that he did really. As I said, you know, learned a C language and then uh, PayPal. And that's the great ideas. He had great ideas and it's based on uh, SpaceX. He started and then in those same days, uh, in those days, uh, you got interested in the, in the electric uh, vehicle EVs also. He, there, there was, those are the days. Uh, I'd say like in the 90s, uh, electric vehicle uh, was just an idea. Nobody's interested in electric vehicle. So Elon Musk uh, 
got involved with Tesla. Tesla um, was not a successful company and it was just an idea and it is hard for Kapitan Musk that Tesla is where it is now. They are the same way this space actually is where it is now. So I, for instance, uh, the Walter Isaacs and uh, Right, uh, that uh, that rocket, uh, the three four rockets have uh, just uh, exploded on the launch pad, and uh, they are running short of money, and this uh, rocket has to fly. Otherwise, uh, they will be in thick uh, financial trouble. So Elon Musk has uh, called on and started, and his uh, engineer tells him that uh, the rocket might explode. So if he wants, he can immediately. About the launch, but said let it go, and it went and it was a successful launch. So he has got uh, nerves also, and uh, then he, in the end of the book, he uh, gives the full story of the Twitter and of uh, how he got involved in it. So he has, Elon has got his own ideas, and he has quoted many stories of. Uh, drives his staff very hard. Uh, Elon is himself a very hard working person. And this is one of the reasons for his success. He works very hard and he drives his staff also very hard. And he is uh, sometimes uh, very tough with his staff and he can immediately fire his uh, subordinate on the anything uh, that is really like. So these are the qualities that does not endear you to other people. And uh, but uh, as I said, uh, these things uh, are uh, present in many other people as well. So we cannot uh, uh, say that uh, uh, he is uh, a good man. So you can read this book. Other uh, I would say you should read this book, especially if you are a young man and woman for inspiration. Nobody is perfect. Elon Musk is also not perfect. He has, as I said in the beginning, but there's a lot of quirky things. And uh, his relationships may have also a lot of shortcomings. But uh, in my personal opinion, I would compare Elon Musk with Leonardo da Vinci. He is a genius. And uh, he from scratch as uh, done so many things that we should appreciate. Uh, this book called Dry Election on the Love Bus is a good book. You should read it.